what's going on guys extra rounds here and what i got for you today is a little bit something different from uh all the firearms content that i usually put out and uh you know i just want to do something a little different because this is you know i, I saw this in walmart and i thought it was kind of cool it's called the x vision optics and it says night vision deluxe binocular uh the x a n b 30 that's what uh that's what I got here. And basically, this is not really a night vision optic. This is a IR optic, but they put night vision on there and uh, you know, it's whatever cuz I mean, technically you can't see at night, but it's not night vision. Uh you can pick this up at Walmart. This one at mine was 150 bucks. Uh, but you can get it for one sixty nine ninety nine. I've seen them for as much as uh two sixteen two thirty nine ninety nine. It all depends on where you buy it from. But this is just a really cheap like uh option, just in case you want to like just see into the night. Maybe some like light hunting. I know this shows a little bit of hunting on here, or you know spotting and stuff like that. But uh, we're gonna get into all the the nitty stuff uh, later because uh, even though it's still back it back in its box I've already taken it out I've looked through it I've seen it I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you just an overview real quick and then also uh, you guys know I don't do any editing on my uh, on my video so I'm gonna have to pick you up and take you outside and I'll show you how this is during the daytime so this is a part one and then later on tonight I'll go ahead and you'll see it back on the table and we'll do a nighttime uh, look at it. So right now it is 440, you know, uh, in, you know, during the daytime. So we're going to go ahead and just unbox this. So this thing claims that, um, at night it has a 150 yard, uh, you could see a hundred up to 150 yards. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, daytime distance, 400 yards and how it can do both of these things is because it's a, a, a three to six X magnification. So as soon as you see it, look through it, it's going to be at three X all the time. And then, uh, I'll show you there's buttons on here that you can press to zoom in and zoom out and stuff like that. Uh, it's able to do picture and video, uh, with an SD card, a standard SD card. So not like a micro one, but I'm pretty sure if you have like the SD card that you could put a uh, micro SD in, I'm pretty sure it will work. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure. It cut, it uh, needs eight AA batteries, and how those are, I'll show you when we open them. Okay, let's look on the back. It just gives you a whole bunch of uh, information. You can go ahead and, sorry, it's a little glary. Pause it, and you could check all of that out. But it's pretty much like what I said, and right there you can see IR LED allows you to look up 150 yards. Um, auto shut off feature after five minutes, it'll auto shut off, which is that's great. Uh, four levels of uh, IR brightness. Now it says four levels of IR brightness, but basically what that means is no IR, so the IR is off, then IR1, IR2, and IR3. So technically the first one's not even IR because it's, it's just off. Uh, full color day viewing, yep, that is true. Battery life up to 10 hours for the day use and six hours for the night. Now that right there, day use, Yes, but only on 3x setting. So if you're on 3x, then it will yeah it will probably last 10 hours. But on uh, the 6x or you know higher magnifications, it ain't gonna last 10 hours. The six hours at night again, that's probably on IR1 that it will last six hours, and maybe at the maybe at the 3x setting, the standard setting. But if you put that thing on IR3 at 6x setting and leave it going, I don't think it's gonna last six hours. It is water and dust resistant uh, to an uh, international protection rating of IP52. So this is like maybe fog and light spray, you know, stuff like that. Not like torrential downpour. If you're in a torrential downpour, this thing will fail and, you know, it, it's going to suck. Uh, here's just all this information is basically what I already told you, but like I said, you can look back. Uh, perfect for hunting, camping, sports, wildlife, observation, farm monitoring, and sightseeing. So again, we'll uh, get into that, but let's go ahead and open it. I got it kind of shoved in here because like I said, I already opened it before, so I got to try to pull it apart. Okay, so put that sleeve to the side. Now, initially, it will come in this same bubble wrapping but the uh, actual sling will not be on there i just put it on there and i put it back in the thing so we'll pull the unit out 
put it to the side. And then that's my receipt. And then it'll come with, you know, a thank you letter with some information on it. You got your user manual and then a quick start guide on how to put the batteries in, the focusing uh, dial, and then all the button information. Helpful hints, how to uh, help you at night and basically um, what you can do. So you can go ahead and uh, pause that and check that out. So I'm gonna put all that back. I like to keep all the box stuff. I keep the receipt in there. I'm not gonna return it because it's actually pretty decent, but uh, I like to keep it in there. So it's gonna, the unit's usually gonna come in just like this without the, the sling attached or the, you know. And so this is gonna be kind of hard to get out. Okay, that to the side. It has a little protective visor. I've chosen to keep it because it doesn't have anything to cover this. So I've kept this and uh, you can take it off. This is all rubber, so or, or really light rubber. So it's really nice to be on your face. So there is your two IR, uh, you know, red red indicators. There's your, where the, the front is. There's your focus, focus knob right here, left and right. Here's your two battery compartments. Now these are quad stacked. So basically there's two, but then there's two more underneath that. It's almost like the old school, like boom boxes and, and stuff that, uh, uh, that we used to have. And then a little bit of information on the bottom there. Here are all your buttons. So the on button, all you do is press it once and it will turn on. And then you press and hold and then it will turn off. Got the zoom, got the mode, IR, and uh, picture. So zoom, obviously zoom, IR is IR1, is IR off, one, two, and three. Mode is going to be uh, whether it's going to be on a video or picture. So you click that and it will go to either one. This is where your SD card is. And this is like a little rubber grommet. And it's kind of a little bit difficult to take off, but that's good. So that water, you know, will have a hard time getting in there. Okay. So you put, and it's kind of hard to put back in, but uh, I can put it back in. Okay. Nice. All right. And then you just have, I mean, honestly, these are, to me, it's good. They're, they're kind of, kind of cheap but hey what are you gonna do you know it's 150 bucks and so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna take you outside and we're gonna show you how to work this thing outside so bear with me for one second okay don't mind my garage it's all messy okay coming outside okay go ahead and Loosen you up, and we are gonna be looking over here at this house right here. I've already told them, so they're they're cool with it. I told them what I'm doing, so they're not gonna not gonna freak out. So let me go grab the unit real quick. Okay, I'm back. So, like I said, what you do is you go ahead and press this one time. And then it'll come up. And as you can see, we are in IR3. Here, well, let me get closer. Because it's having some problems focusing. So we're in IR3 right now. Let me go ahead and press the IR button to turn that off. So now we are off. So this is at 3x setting with the IR off. Okay. As you can see, you see a wood pile over there. See the trees. And like I said, you turn this adjustment knob that's on the bottom. Adjustment knob on the bottom and it will get blurry. And then you could turn it. And it'll become clear again. And then you go ahead and press zoom. And it'll zoom in. And then you need to focus again. There we go. Zoom, that's 4.5 and 6. And then you might need to do a final adjustment. Let's see. There you go. So... And then you click one more time and it'll come back. So you see how it did that? You could you can't really see that wood. No, you can't see it. And then go back. Okay. And then the mode, it has an X up in the top right corner, but that's because I don't have any I don't have an SD card in there right now. So it won't even uh let me see if it'll go into video mode. Yeah, so see your top left corner, that's video. 
oh, no image. And then here is your, all your, uh, uh, what is it, menu settings and stuff. I haven't messed with that any, any yet, but let's go back out and it's back to picture. It kind of sucks because you have to go through all that, like one click video, but then if you want to get back, you have to go through all of it again just to get back to picture. So again, this is me. I am gonna go, oh, actually here, let me show you. And then you just press it, press and hold. And it goes off. So this is me, extra rounds, and I'm gonna uh, sign off for now and I'll be back with part two. Here, hold on. I'll be back with part two later tonight. And we're gonna go ahead and take some looking around the yard in the IR settings and, you know, just let you check it out. All right, I'll see you later.